Hey guys, it's Thomas of Chrono24 in New York City, and today we are talking about watch case material. Today we're going to run through five different materials, steel, gold, bronze, titanium, ceramic. Some are a little bit more luxurious, some are a little more functional, some are a little bit more futuristic. We'll do a pros and cons of each one. I'll do a little bit of a user guide as far as what material goes best with which kind of watch. I might throw in some information you might not know. And because I have a lot of strong opinions, you'll get an enthusiast take on each one as well. Now, before we dive in, let me remind you that Chrono24 is doing a $10,000 giveaway. If you want to find out how to enter to win, full details are in the description below. We have a lot to get to, so let's start with our first material, and that is steel. Now, steel is found everywhere in the watch world, and that's for a few reasons. From a brand point of view, it's cheap and it's easy to work with. And from a consumer point of view, it's cheap and it's durable. So you'll find that a lot in sport watches, especially because it's a very utilitarian metal. It's not gonna get scratched up too easily. There's a good strength to weight ratio and it's super common. So it's not gonna keep the cost of the watch from going through the roof. Most brands out there today will use 316L steel or some people call it surgical steel. It's non-allergenic, so it's not gonna irritate your skin. And it's still very easy to work with from a manufacturing point of view. Now, Rolex actually uses a slightly different steel. They use 904L steel. It's a little bit more corrosion resistant. It's a little bit harder to work with as well, but because Rolex really wants to use the best, they use a slightly better metal, not a huge difference in quality or price or anything like that, but Rolex is Rolex and here we are. Now let's squeeze in a quick little side note to talk about PVD and DLC because you're seeing these come up a little bit more often in today's market. PVD stands for physical vapor disposition and DLC stands for diamond-like carbon. Basically, these are protective coatings that are applied to a steel watch to make them a little extra durable and to change the color a lot of times. So you'll see black uh, most often, or if you're looking at a Hamilton khaki field mechanical, for example, you'll see uh, more earth tones there just to kind of switch up the colors a bit. If you've ever seen a black watch, chances are it's PVD or DLC. 